Well, we're at the 2014 SAE Congress in Detroit, Michigan, and with me today is Brian Schneider, and he's with AMS. And they're probably more noted for their Hall effect and lighting sensors and things like that. But we've got something very interesting to show you today. You remember I told you how important it is to keep the uh, modules and hybrid ba battery packs balanced? And sometimes we have these crazy looking digital devices. They're very big. You wonder where are they going to put those things on a vehicle? Well, AMS has got a definite better solution for that. Tell us more about that, Brian. Well, uh, AMS being an analog semiconductor company has a very novel approach, not new. So what's old is new again. We are. Uh, uh, actually providing a solution to a problem that uh, has grown as more and more cells are used in automotive uh, electric vehicles with our simple to use cell balancer. What we've done that is basically uh, made this job uh, analog process control issue with our comparators, reference voltages, and switches to uh, automatically equalize all the cells in an array. Right here we have a representation of seven cells and all we need is just one simple IC and three resistors to autonomously balance seven cells. Of course it can be cascaded together to communicate to a host processor to balance up to 244 cells. Uh, that's the cell balancer at the cell pack. We're actually monitoring the voltages of all seven cells and making sure they're all equalized. And there we've got a representation of a, uh, it can also uh, balance supercapacitors or otherwise known as EDLCs. So very good in hybrid battery capacitor applications. Look how little this thing is. Um, you know, other ones that we've looked at were so big. And uh, you know, this technology has come so far in the past few years. And whether you've got a hybrid vehicle or whether you've got an electric car um, and, and with, with battery technology growing the way it has and keeping these cells balanced, becoming so much smaller, so much more compact, so much more realistic. And this is just so much part of our future. Unbelievable. Yes, yes. And so uh, we've actually simplified it. That just is a matter of just monitoring the cells. For a true BMS system, you have to monitor the voltage, the current, and the temperature, and you don't want to have any of those go out of range. So what we have here is a 48-volt complete BMS reference design. Most you'll see, as Jim said here, you'll have multiple boards, multiple ICs with over 50 external components per balancing seven cells. Here we only need three critical components. Here uh, we've got the two cell balancers balancing 14 lithium ion cells and our current sensor is located right under our uh, shunt base deal that uh, is very accurate but uh, that is what's monitoring the pack voltage the current and the temperature to keep the overall pack and with the cell balancer making sure the cells are uh, kept safe operating environment too uh, another unique feature about our current sensor is that it is uh, we, we built in a compensation algorithm to compensate for the temperature differences you'll see across a shunt. And uh, what was said in the past that can't be done, we've proven them that it can be done. We can actually build a uh, shunt using a PC copper trace and the PCB board. And right here we've got a trace that can handle up to 60 amps. And we get a very accurate uh, current measures, measurements with a uh, 1% over an entire temperature range. And, and I heard you say 60 amps. 60 amps. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. And of course this part it can be, uh, uh, the, the gain can be set to go up to kiloamps down to milliamps. Um, it's a device currently being used in the i3 BMS for uh, BMW. Very, very cool. Well, you all know how important it is for electric vehicles and the electrification of automotives for our industry, for the environment, and folks like AMS are definitely helping us get there a whole lot sooner. 